How's it going, YouTube? Yeah, Pat Mac here, coach of the Sacramento Saints, slash bringing week one of the Masters of Sword and Shield, playing against Bishmi, coach of the Trash Town Thievals. You can see our team up above, their team down below, both teams ranged in speed order, of course, as well as six Pokemon that we are bringing, and the six Pokemon that I think Bishmi is going to bring to our match. Part of the game plan here is definitely around Trick Room. Uh, I think either I'm going to be trying to set it, or they're going to be trying to set it, and actually both of us might want it. <laughs> so it's going to be, uh, I think part of the game is going to be played in Trick Room just because of how strong Melmetal is. Uh, and then I think there's a chance that they might, might want like Machamp in Trick Room. Not 100% sure about on that, um, but it's just kind of a, a thought, maybe. I don't know. And then uh, setup. So I have Acid Armor on uh, Melmetal, which I think is going to be pretty big this match. It's the only setup that I have. Oh, that's not true. I also have coaching on uh, Galarian Zapdos. I don't know if I'm going to end up using it, but it is an option uh, just in case I decide to. And then uh, Disruption. Of course, Intimidate, I think, is going to be really nice here. Strength Zap is going to be really nice. I baby doll eyes. So I have a lot of ways to reduce their attack uh, damage output, which most of their team is attack damage output. The only Pokemon that really isn't is uh, the Meowstic. And like, yeah. I don't know. I'm not particularly scared of Meowstic. So, uh, yeah, it's mostly like physical damage output from this team. That's pretty scary. We'll see uh, what six they decide to bring here in just a moment. Okay, taking a look at his team for the first game. It's got a lot of what I was expecting. Uh, okay, there's the Meowstic. So I'm expecting there to be uh, trick round possibilities in game two. Is everything else the same? No, there is a Claydol also. Uh, oh, there's no Dracovish. Okay. Cool. So then, um, Jellicent's a little less important uh, for this matchup. Still might be nice to deal with Claydol, but I think I probably have other stuff that can handle it. Uh, definitely want to bring Moulin Rouge. Uh, definitely want to bring Shades here. Uh, I think uh, Leg Day is 100% necessary, and I think Nuts is probably the way to go as the last Mon. What four am I expecting from him? I'm kind of expecting no Dusclops. And... Uh, yeah, I'm expecting no Dusclops for sure. I don't know what his lead would be. It kind of just depends on what he has. But I think this is what I'll start for the first game. And then uh, we'll see. We'll see what he decides to go with. Yeah, since this is only 4v4, like, I don't need to worry about Jellicent getting set up on, like, from Cartana or something like that. That's totally fine. Okay, I'm just gonna, uh, knock off here. Not too worried about this. I could taunt, actually. Taunt wouldn't be a bad play, either. But I think knockoff is probably just better. Yeah, that's so much damage. Trick Room, totally okay with that too. Uh, yeah, so he does have Trick Room. I think I mentioned in the team builder I thought Trick Room was 100% coming. Uh, do I want to hold on to this for any reason? Like, I could go Aromatisse. You know, I think I am going to do that. This is weakened enough that I feel kind of okay about it. That I think I can just go Aromatisse. I can keep my Focus Sash intact on... Uh, yeah, that's totally okay, too. So I actually could have KO'd this. But keeping my Sash intact for uh, Crocodile, I think is kind of nice. So let's see what he goes for. So we know Claydol for sure. Should take a note of that. This game might be a little bit slower than... Okay, I'm 100% blasting this. There's no reason not to. Uh, I could also reverse Trick Room. Is there a reason to do that? There's three turns of Trick Room left. Uh, I could also Wish, maybe? I'm trying to think of what they would do. Because, like, this is weak to Moonblast, so... I think I'm actually just going to protect this first turn. Just let him take some of his own uh, shit from... Um, heavy slam. Ah, okay. Uh, do I take that hit? I don't know for sure, actually. That might be worth knowing. Do I take a heavy slam from a champ? 
Uh, I don't know if it's actually worthwhile for me to switch in anything else, though. Because uh, I... I could lose if he goes for... Oh, actually, this could totally KO me. That's kind of crazy. So I'm going to Moonblast right here. Has a very good chance of KOing. But I think I'll just take my chip damage. And he might actually die to the burn damage. Maybe. We'll see. Yep, okay, so he picks up the KO. That's alright with me. Oh, crit. Yeah, okay, well, we definitely died to a crit. <laughs> and he's really low. Okay, so I think I just go Meld Metal. I'm 100% slower. Uh, and I think I just body press in case he does something different. There's no reason for me to do anything different here. So we can pick up the first KO. Machamp gets a KO on um, Aromatisse. I could... I, I don't really want to Acid Armor. I think I'd much rather just KO this. I could have maybe not revealed that I had Body Press. I think that's, that's probably a reasonable play to make, too. And Twisted... Oh, okay. For some reason, I thought there was going to be more turns of Trick Room left. That's okay. Let's see what he has next for me. Uh, okay, I'm, I think I'm fine with just KOing this. Um... Do I want to take the damage from an Earth Power, actually? I could just go into, um... Gapdos, I think. Yeah, I could probably just go Gapdos. And U-turn? I kind of like that play, actually. Because I expect an Earth Power to come out right here. So I go Gapdos, avoid the Earth Power. Yep. And then just U-turn. And this is probably okay. We still know Claydol for sure. We don't know the other Mons. But I didn't really want to take that damage on Mudmetal, because I kind of want it to be able to hit basically everything else. I wonder if you did end up bringing the desktops here. I would expect Kartana and... Uh, I'm expecting Kart Kartana and Titar to be the last few months. That's my expectation here. Okay, beautiful. So we pick up this KO on Claydol. And I'm just going to go into Crocodile, I think. Uh, and I'm probably just going to... Uh, probably just going to counter. It depends on what he brings in, but probably counter. So Melmoda picked up the KO on the champ. And then we got the KO with Gapdos. On what on Fatal. Okay, Let's see what he goes for. Rar, that's Pitar. No. Oh, that's you? Alright, that's cool. Okay, so that what's your last mon then? Is it Kartana? But if it's Kartana, then when you brought it out here, is it is it Dust Pops? It can't be Dust Pops, right? Wait, why would you go for Psychic? There's no reason for me to switch. Okay. Uh, surprising play, I will say. Was not expecting that. And it's Life Orb too. Okay, so... Uh, oh, I got Leftovers from the Clay Doll and Meow Sticks. Was Life Orb. Okay, and I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna counter. Let's take a sword, yep, that'll take a sword sash. Almost certainly. Okay, almost our sash. That counter will definitely KO this. And I will find out if your life or your sash? Okay, not sash. Okay, so we pick up uh the first uh win here. It's pretty sweet. 
feel pretty good about uh, how that went. So we did see Sacred Sword. We didn't see Titar. Um, okay, I feel pretty good about what I have going on here. We saw Life Orb from Meowstic and Crit KO'd Meowstic and it KO'd um, Kartana. Cool. Okay, so I'm feeling pretty good about the team. I actually, I'm just kind of surprised at how much of the... Um, um, how much the Kartana did, I would have assumed it would have done more. Um, but we didn't see that damage out from, from Sacred Swords, so it makes me think that it might be... Um, uh, it makes me think that it might not be fully invested. Oh, I guess it's actually a, a chance of outgoing. It's not uh, guaranteed, so... So looking at game two, I think there's a couple of different options I could go with here. Uh, I think I kind of want to just start with... I kind of want to start with leg day and um, Aromatisse, and I think I bring Judy Hops and um, that Pokemon. Nuts. Yeah. Mm. Do I want to? Oh God, Crocodile actually looks really good. There is the competitive Meowstic to, to be concerned about, but. There's no Dracovish, which is kind of nice for me. And we saw how much damage the... So the only concern for not going with um, Crocodile is for uh, Meowstic. Which I, th I think I mentioned at the beginning. I wasn't too scared about, but uh, I don't want to just lose to it, you know? Sash is also kind of nice here to pick up some nice KOs. I think I'm going to go with this as my four for the first game. If it's not looking good, then I'll consider having Shades for the second one. But I kind of like the setup that I have for the most part here. Uh, okay, another alternative would be to bring Jellicent uh, instead of... Um, I am going to go with this. Uh, another consideration is to bring Jellicent instead of the, the other one. Because I think, yeah. Um, Aromatisse because we saw the Machamp has Heavy Slam and we don't pay a little blast. But I think I'm probably okay there. We'll see what he leads with. Uh, I'm probably U-turning with Gapdos. Beep and Toontown. Okay. Uh, I'm expecting Trick Room and um, Protect. Ah, you're unnerved. Okay, that's fine. So you're going to find him Scarf and Citrus Berry. That's okay. Um, because I think my play here is just U-turn on this, and, um, I kind of want to just Moonblast Toontown as well. Wait, how much do I do to... You don't have Sand Boost. This really feels like weakness policy to me, though. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with this, this play. Yep, yeah. That that seems to be the play that was going to be made. So now I'm fully expecting uh, Trick Room right here, and I'm just going to go into Mel Metal. So I'm kind of curious about how much damage I do to Tyranitar if um, he doesn't have Sand. Ah, that's really unfortunate, actually. Well, I do have healer, so I might be able to get rid of this. Uh, I think on this play... I could Acid Armor, but I think I'm just going to protect this first turn right here. And, um, okay, trying to figure out how much damage I do to um, Titar. If he's just, like, offensive. Uh, I think here, I'm actually just going to trick him. I'm going to give myself a chance for the healer to pop off so that I can get rid of this burn. And um, also set up Trick Room for Melmetal to look to pick up a KO. Um, so I am burned now, which does suck. But I actually still do a mad amount of damage to Tyranitar even while burned. So feeling okay about this. Let's see what he goes for. See what he goes for. Yeah, so I get the so I'm the slowest on the field, so it means my protect definitely went first. Earthquake. Okay. I'm fine with Earthquake actually, because it hits his own Pokemon too. 
Now we're both really bulky, so it's not gonna matter a whole lot. Okay, fine. That, that's that's totally okay with me. I'll get Trick Room up, which is pretty sweet. Uh, I would expect Titar to. Um, oh, that's so good. Okay. Yeah, that's really good because now I'm not burned anymore, and I really have Oka pressure on um, Titar. Uh, I think here I might actually just go for an Acid Armor. Uh, and I think on this play, I kind of want to just wish, actually. Um... Oh, what's the odds that I KO this dust hops right now, though? You know, I'm going to double iron bash here. And, um... I think I'm... I don't know. I, I think I'm going to Moonblast right now. Yeah. Yep, okay. Protect... I assume there'd be a Protect there, but if he did go for attack that I didn't want to just, uh, like, lose. <laughs> you know? Like, if he just did straight up go for an attack. I also know now that he's not min speed on his Dust Pops, because Dust Pops has a lower speed in general than both of my mods. Uh, or he could have Trick Room again. That also would have worked. Uh, okay. Now I actually feel totally fine to just go for a Double Iron Bash uh, against this. And probably just Moonblast it too, actually. Or Trick Room? Hmm. Do I want Trick Room up or not? I kind of want Trick Room up. I'm gonna go for that. I think I got an Acid Armor up, right? I'm, I'm not forgetting if I did that or not. I'll need to check to make sure. I'm at plus two defense, because I don't know for sure. Fox light. Okay, that's okay. We take some damage. I think that might put us in Citrus Berry Rage. Nope. Okay, we definitely KO this, though. There's no way that lives. He is weakness policy. Okay. He, um... So, I, I, call, I call this as an option. Um, if, uh... Oh, they had a nerve. Oh, I forgot about a nerve. Um, yeah, I called the um, weakness policy as an option for. And he says a trick room. Oh, I said a trick room. Wait, did he also trick room? Ah, okay. Nice play. So now we're in normal dimensions. I want to check to see if I'm plus two defense on uh, Melmetal. I forget if I got that or not. But both my Pokemon are at very high health uh, values right now, so I'm feeling pretty good about things. Okay, this really matters. Am I at plus two defense? I'm not. Okay, I'm swapping then. Uh, or I'm protecting. Ooh, um... See, because I know Heavy Slam kills. You know, I think I'm okay with being out of Trick Room. I kind of want to just double iron bash this. And I kind of want to just boom blast it as well. He actually doesn't have the gust boost right now, so... I might be okay. Would he protect? I'm going to go for the double attack. I don't know if he has protect. Okay, he doesn't. And without the... Yeah, without the guts boosted, I actually take that hit, so... Very good position for me, I think. God, Melmo does so much damage. That's so insane. <laughs> he actually might have just set up Trick Room here, too. Yeah, he might have just set up Trick Room for me as well. Now he will us. Okay. That's alright. Because uh, I'm in a pretty good spot here, so I, I don't mind too much if I'm burned. And there is always a chance that Healer will take care of this for me. So, Aromatisse is kind of dead weighted at the moment. Let's see what his last one is. It's raw. Okay, I'm totally okay with what's happening right now. Uh, in this case, I'm just going to double iron bash uh, this spot. And uh, I think I could just Moonblast, actually. 
Um, ooh, actually, I kind of want the burn gone, right? So I think I'm going to double iron bash, and I'm going to protect just in case I can get the, um, uh, get the healer proc to heal my Melmetal. That would be a very good situation for me if I could get that. Can you do a Shadow Ball? Okay. But I'm really bulky, so I know I'm going to be okay with that. Double Iron Bash, even Burn will probably do a lot of damage. Okay. It's respectable. It's not as much as I would have uh, hoped for, but, you know, I'm not really invested, so. And we block the Nightshade. Perfect. Okay, do we get the Burn deal right here? That would be so clutch. Oh my god. Okay, see, that's the reason we protected right there. Uh, in this instance, I think I go for another Double Iron Bash. Um, I have both of these mods dead to right, so I'm just going to go here and um, I'll go Moonblast here. Because uh, I should be able to take any of these hits, no problem at all. Yep. Okay, totally good with that. So Aromatis goes down to uh, Meowstic. But I want to get this uh, Pokemon gone. I want the Dust Collapse gone because I don't want like a Trick Room out or like Ally Switch stuff going on. And uh, yeah, we should be we should be in the winning position here. So we know that there's no um, no Clay Doll. Yeah, this will this will KO with you, turn. We KO Dust Collapse. No Kartana. I think we got this one uh, pretty well locked up. Used a lot of double iron bashes this match. And you turn, yeah, that should definitely KO right here, so. Cool. All right, looks like uh, we pick up the 2 0 victory. Feel very good about how the team did. All the mocks that uh, we did were definitely really helpful. Um, just to get us set up for this match, I feel very good about how the team performed, about what we brought, how we brought it, and everything like that, so. If you'd like to see some more of uh, our content, whether it is, you know, my normal shtick is the Okay, let me get my normal shtick. If you'd like to see some more of our content, whether it is VGC or singles, definitely stick around, like, subscribe, and all that stuff, and I'll catch you on the next one. But hold up, this is both VGC and singles. If you'd like to see both VGC and singles draft league all in one league, <laughs> definitely stick around, like, subscribe, and all that stuff, and I'll catch you on the next one.